Hey, fellas. Hello. So, another month, another gaming vlog. I thought I might get out before, or more titles come along available. Some well, I'm currently playing. Some good news go over. Some bad news. Some is a bit of both. So, let's begin. So, starting on the Switch, I have been thoroughly enjoying Bomb Rush Cyberpunk so far. Her, and I am currently about to take on the Eclipse Gang. Now that I've garnered enough reputation to do so. Oh, and then some. Um, because that's how it works. You need to build enough reputation in the city on your crew in order to engage them um, in a competition. And somewhat related, turns out Sega may or may not be pursuing a remaster of the or are just the radio games that influence this one, and even have all the same developers, I mean, one of them Team Reptile. I'd say it would be an intriguing success. And on that subject, I'm also enjoying the Drizzle Season Splatoon 3 so far, practicing for the First University Splatfest, and containing and things with First University Big Run as well. I mean, so, wow. And it's also has sold over 14 million copies in its first year in the market, which means it'll be easily among the best-selling games on the console fairly soon. On a less positive note, oh, it seems that the infamous De Nuvo DRM scheme is get close to being implemented on the console. Oh, and given how it's caused more headaches than than solutions. And for players, here's it's definitely a scheme that I'm not looking forward to should it move forward. Especially since the company admitted that it's not really that effective and which definitely begs a question about why you even move forward with it personally. And with that in mind, I like to mention that I, I now opted into both chapters of DLC for Scarlet and Violet's Hidden Treasure Area Zero with the first one going live very soon, so let's segue to PlayStation. Hmm. And with that in mind, mind, I have also played the most recent legacy titles I got on my basic tier, PS Plus, Ape Escape on the Loose, and Medieval Resurrection, both Fairly decent, if a bit touchy, theory versions of their respective PlayStation 1 um, um, ports. My personal favorite was the one I've used the thumbnail, Pursuit for Screen Justice, the sequel to who the hit had of Pursuit Force came out the following year. I not only beat it, but I also platinumed it. My fourth game I've done, the others being Kells and Liberation, Pinball Heroes, and the original Twisted Metal, which should bring me to some other less than enticing developments going on. Yeah. The included games in September on the essential or basic tier are as follows. Black Desert Travelers Edition, as I mentioned, not a fan of the developer Pearl Abyss and what they've done. Generation Zero, not familiar with. And the highly divisive reboot of Saints Row coming off just the recent announcement of another piece of news, the closure of Mountain Developer Volition. Smooth. I'm not a Saints Row fan, so I don't really have the same aim betrayal for this one one way or the other, but as someone who has not really had any interest in playing it. It's definitely something I need to talk about my the next real a whiff of news that I got on the Sony front. Seems that the a price starting this month for renewing subscriptions with new subscribers across the board is going up. The essential tier is going from um 60 to ooh, 80 dollars a year and my current tier the premium tier here is 
is going up from 120 to 106 dollars a year and naturally depending on what the or rather regardless of what the extra and premium titles are to make up for the what I just said was going to be in the essential tier the announcement has by and large backfired there with another 1.7 million subscribers at minimum canceling their subscriptions and in protest as to mean and I'm not sure if this rumor about a new PlayStation showcase is true, but if it is, they. Sh I also hope they have something really good to announce to make up for the slow. Otherwise, it was the last thing they needed after the. He. He, device of the PlayStation Portal. I mean, I'm having. Being some flashbacks to the early days of the PS3's rollout, even as that console is, looks, is really good in hindsight, and the whole infamous work extra hours to buy one on mindset that that GM seemed to be operating under at this stage. Mm. So, to not be entirely negative, I have to end this. I mean, I've heard very good things about Sea of Stars, which also launched day and date on. PS Plus alongside its launch on on Switch, Xbox, and PC. Hey, so I haven't installed my console, so I believe I'll give it a try. Hi, soon. I mean, and I guess I'll have more to say. Hey, after I try the games when they go live this Tuesday. I don't know about video tomorrow, but I am working on writing more stuff. I am also. How still binging the remainder of our journeys for to be master streams, and I also have my next Ahsoka vlog lined up on other content. So that'll be all for now. So take care, everyone. Mm.